Set expense policies so your team submits what you need after they spend. You can set up your expense policies by going to Confirm Expense Policy in the Setup Guide. Or you can go to the Policy tab and then Review Policy. Let's look at the standard and strict policies. In both policies, you'll choose who approves an employee's request for funds to spend, when are receipts and memos required, and who approves expenses after they've been submitted. The standard policy has rules like requests for funds require manager approval, ramp card transactions over $75 need a receipt and memo, which is IRS compliant, and no additional reviews needed unless a transaction has been flagged as a violation, or if there's a reimbursement for out-of-pocket expenses. The strict policy gives you a little bit more control, like requests for funds require both manager and admin approval, and all ramp card transactions need a receipt and memo. To edit any of these policies, you can select the pencil icon. This is for basic functionality edits. But if you want to customize the policies even further, you can go into advanced settings. For fund requests, you can choose different approvers other than managers or admins. For receipts and memos, you can select Remove if you don't need them as a requirement. Or, if you want to have it applied to all transactions, you can simply remove the total spend amount condition. You can also make reconciliation faster by requiring job codes or categories. But to do this, you must first connect your accounting system. For most, these policies are enough, but others can create other policies like a strict policy for field employees or a lighter policy for HQ staff or perhaps one just for the exec team. You'll choose which policy to apply when assigning cards. And if you want to skip receive requirements for recurring software like Zoom or Slack, you don't need a separate policy. Just add those vendors by going to Spend Guidelines in your Policy tab. Then go to Global Approvals and Restrictions. Here, you can add these as auto approve merchants. After this first time setup, you can revisit your expense policies in the Policy tab at any time. Now just go to Submitting Expenses and Expense Requirements. Set a default expense policy to fit your team.